2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the final stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to start. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam as we kick off this Tour Championship. And Rich, this player performed well enough all season to be rewarded with a modest amount of starting strokes. What are you thinking about their chances here today? They've got lots of work to make up, but still, there's plenty of time to do it, and I'm excited to see what they can produce throughout the week. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Oh, great swing there. The opening hole, Rich, at East Lake is not an easy one, is it? It is not. Second shot plays straight back up the hill, a green that tilts from back to front. Two bunkers on the opening of this green, right and left, pose all sorts of problems. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. That's the right pace. This should drop. And this one will be for bogey. He's currently tied for 14th. Yeah, well... You're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there will be birdies to come, no doubt about it. Time to tee off at the second. Opting for the five wood. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Yeah, nicely played. 13 feet to the hole. Get excited. This could go in. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Currently one under for the round. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Ball striking is certainly a premium here at East Lake Ridge, and the third, no different. If your tee shot is in the fairway, every single flag on this green is findable. Playing from the rough, watch out for that deep bunker fronting the green. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, this looks pure. How good would that have been if it had dropped? And that puddle drop. Well done. Currently one under for the tournament. Quite often the hardest hole in golf. A long par four. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Keep focused on that flag while playing to this elevated green. Looks like they've got the five wood.
handy effort that one sadly hasn't made a putt all day hopefully that can change here Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to two under. We've arrived at a par four hole. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. It looked like it came out of a cannon. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Only a few shots off the pace. Opting for the 9-iron. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Yeah, a quality shot, that. Birdie at the last. This for another. Ooh. Big putt for par coming up. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. The sixth hole at uh, East Lake Rich, one to get after. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill. So a little length helps. Four victories so far this season. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. Just three back from the leader. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. This is their fifth shot. Three behind our leader. This next putt is for Bogey. by the hole. We don't want to drop any more shots. Let's make this for double. And well hold. Let's move on. And that's going to put him up to even par. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Ting off here at the seventh. You know, that was an absolute card killer, that last hole. Let's see if you can make up for it with a couple of birdies. Let's start right now. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, they might not be able to get all of this, but it is sitting up pretty good in the first cut here, guys. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Okay, steady now. And this one is for bogey. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Let's see if they can bounce back after that bogey. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. Second shot here on the eighth. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. We need this one to bounce right. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Ouch, that hurts. He's got a 
par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Job done. Let's head to the next. Now, eight shots back after that hole. This hole is a par three. Going with the five wood. That's a pretty handy shot. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Never quite hit that. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Now, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Opting for the five wood. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. There's part of about six feet coming up. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. And with that, he's back to even overall. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. A chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Yeah, that one will play. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Now he's got about 26 feet to go from here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. And that brings to an end that hole. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Not bad. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Not taking enough club to get it there. That's on the green, but still a fair way from the hole. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Oh, just missed. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently at plus one for the day. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me.
Seems to have chosen the three wood. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Just didn't drop. Good putters will make these right on five feet. I don't mind the look of this. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Here we are in front of a par three. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Very well played. We've already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. It's on a great line. Oh, so close. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And one over par now, heading to the stretch. A chance to lift. And there's a lot of pressure on the line, Rich, as we get to the closing holes at Eastlake. And here we are at 16. Tough tee shot, 454 yards. Deep bunker down the right-hand side. Tee shot plays straight back up the hill. Go ahead and give her a wallop. Playing to an elevated green here. Let's see if they've got the right club. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. That's just inside the range. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. Looking really good, this one. But that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Why not take another look at that effort? Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. And as we get to the penultimate hole at Eastlake Ridge, what does it require? The tee has been moved back some 60 yards over the last couple of years, putting a premium on finding the fairway. Those bunkers down the left-hand side are menacing, to say the least. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. This one might need to get down a little. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. And he needs this to save par. Looking good. Well hold. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. And after a recent switch of the nines here at Eastlake, the finishing hole's gone from a tough par three, Rich, to a really gettable five. Go ahead and take out the driver and enjoy this tee shot. It might be difficult, but if you hit it in the fairway, you'll definitely be rewarded by being able to go for it in two. Oops, this one's headed for the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Time now for the fourth shot. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And down she goes, so it's tournament over now. No W to celebrate there, Rich, but you think plenty of positives to take away from it? 
Always something to learn in this game, and hopefully this player has learned a lot. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.